Hello, I'm the art director for World of Tanks. Today we'll talk about upcoming updates. Last year, we held a number of version and non-version tests for the improved vehicle physics and sound. Today, my colleagues and I will tell you about the changes we made after the first tests. There are a lot of changes. In particular, we heard feedback from players that our big guns don't go boom. So we modified them. Now the big guns will go boom. We've fixed many small issues. For example, tinnitus when the vehicle is destroyed and the sound of hits annoyed players. We made it softer, less annoying. We added a sound for sixth sense and brought back the critical hit bell. Also, we reviewed many game events that occur at long range, like shots and hits, and tried to reduce their number in order to avoid drawing a player's attention away from the gameplay happening nearby. Concerning the sounds for the shell types, many players noticed that we didn't have the hiss of the heat shells. So, we brought them back as well. The engine sounds were reworked too, because many players pointed out that they sounded like a lawnmower, and so on. They sounded too light, so we made them sound heavier. Now, they're much more powerful. All these changes were made possible by the transition to the new technological platform, Audio Kinetic Wise. One of its main features allowed us to separate the informative components from the artistic ones. So, the sound of the game changes and transforms depending on what happens to the players. If they need an informative sound at a particular moment, it will become informative. If they need an artistic sound, it will become artistic. Another advantage of WISE is that it works on multi-core computers. As soon as it detects the second or third core, it starts using it, reducing the load on the main core in which our game works. The current vehicle physics have a lot of age-old problems, and the only way to solve them is to rewrite the vehicle motion code completely. And that's what we did. During 2015, we tuned the new system so that it would be convenient and the balance characteristics for vehicles would remain. The new system will get rid of problems like getting stuck on terrain, losing speed, or bumping into slopes. Also, the new system allows the dynamics of vehicles in motion to be adjusted more flexibly. One of the features we wanted to implement in the new system was the opportunity to fire beyond the gun elevation and depression angles. It allowed players to shoot higher or lower than the set angles when accelerating or braking. But during the tests, we found that it wasn't very convenient. The aim was swinging around, and it was confusing for the players. So we decided to stabilize the elevation and depression based on your feedback. Now, no matter how much your tank wobbles, you fire as if it's in a level position. A real tank is a heavy vehicle. When turning or changing direction, it should have some momentum to look natural. When adjusting this parameter, we discovered that high momentum is inconvenient when playing light vehicles that need to maneuver effectively. They seemed very unresponsive. We've been adjusting this characteristic over the course of many tests for a while now. We've managed to keep some balance, so now light vehicles have a small momentum coefficient. They're very responsive and it's easy to drive them. We kept more momentum for heavy vehicles, so that you can feel their power and weight. One of the interesting new features was the implementation of unexpected maneuvers, 
created by locking the tracks. After the first tests, the players immediately called it a handbrake, although tanks obviously don't have a handbrake. A brake pedal just gets locked in place. When you press the space bar, together with a direction button, as it is now, you lock the opposite track. At this moment, a complex maneuver is processed on the server side. The driver sharply pulls one lever, locks one track, and accelerates a little bit. This lets your tank drift. It will skid and can do a 180-degree turn. One of the surprising maneuvers we saw on the common test was that TDs could turn 90 or 180 degrees. Maybe not momentarily, but very quickly. They could drift from behind a corner and fire without aiming. This looked very dangerous for the balance. So we made the decision to switch off the track locking for TDs and SPGs for now. In general, the maneuverability of the vehicles will change. Although we kept the turning angles very precise, like they were before, now we have a measuring tool. So we measured what changed. The angle of the turn in degrees per second remained the same, but the speed changed. And changing the speed means that the turning radius changes too. So at the same angle speed, the turning radius becomes greater. And this was done for a reason. For example, when light tanks did diagonal maneuvers, they could lose up to 60% of their speed. Now, if a tank hasn't reached its maximum speed, there's a small drop in acceleration, but there's no loss of speed. So, we had to account for this. Now, players need to press additional buttons to keep the same speed and radius when turning. This means that you need to release the forward button if you want to keep the same speed and turning radius. Thank you for leaving your feedback, lending us your ears, and helping us make the sound as good as it is now. Thank you for taking part in the common tests, and for your comments, especially the detailed ones. Download the test client, get stuck in, and make the game better.